It is often said that the automatic machine gun was invented for maximum killing power. In fact, the gun on display, the Maximum Machine Gun 1908, or MG08 for short, was nicknamed the Devil's Paintbrush, in reference to the way a paintbrush sweeps across a piece of timber and how the machine gun would sweep or rake across the battlefield in such a deadly way that it could only be the invention of the Devil. In truth, the Maximum Machine Gun was not invented by the Devil, but by Sahira Maxim, who was born in America in 1840. He would become a renowned inventor, with well-known inventions such as the electric light bulb, electric generators, steam and vacuum pumps, and even the early aeroplane, but he was probably best known for inventing machine guns. In the 1880s, he based himself in London and designed the first successful automatic machine gun, which was tested in conflict during the Anglo-Boer War of 1899-1902. to Examples of the Max and Nordenfeld machine gun can be seen in the Boer War and Gallipoli galleries. Maxim machine guns were sold all over the world, and it didn't matter what country you were from, as long as you had the right amount of money. The machine gun in this display was manufactured in 1908, and is placed on a sled mount so the gun can be elevated or lowered depending on where the gunner wants to concentrate their arc of fire. In World War I, the machine gunner was highly trained, and was part of an elite group of men. The machine gunner in this display is wearing rather sinister looking body armour. The machine gun made a major impact during World War I and was responsible for killing thousands of men on both sides of the trenches. They could fire between 500 to 700 rounds a minute and exceeded the fire of 50 riflemen. Accurate even at night, one gun could stop two battalions, which is 1,600 men, before they could advance 150 metres. The New Zealanders used Vickers, Browning and Lewis machine guns in World War I and these can be seen in the trench diorama.